Are you looking to jazz up your Poker Night e-bite? I've got the animation for you. Let's head over to Canva and I'll show you how I did this. So the first thing you need to do is go into your elements and put playing cards in the search bar. And we're going to look and pick out some playing cards. Um, I am on the free version. So that is, I'm going to go into magic rec rec recommendations and I'm going to pick out a couple cards. Let's see. Uh, any more, any more? Five. Or four. I don't know. I might have duplicates in there. So what I want to do now is I want to take these and kind of move them in the corner now that I have my cards. The second thing I want to do is go back over into elements and I want to get out of here, get out of here. I want to go into my shapes. I want to grab a circle. So what I want to do with this circle right for the moment so I can see it, I want to change the color of it so it's different. So what I want to do now is I want to take my circle And I am going to make a new axis point for my cards. So if you see a card and when you go to rotate it, it's going to rotate from the center. If you can look at this dot right here, you can see it rotates from the center. So what we need to do is change that axis point on here. So what I want to do now is I want to make the circle as big as I can. So I want to change my axis point closer to the bottom of the card. So by using a circle, I can do that. So once I get a circle the way I like it, so I'm going to take these and then I'm going to kind of look at it and see if that's a good access point. I think it is. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, before I go and group them together, I am going to duplicate it because I'm going to need one for each card. So once I get that together, I'm going to group them. I am going to grab my circle and I am going to change it to invisible. And then I'm going to move it over to the side. And then I'm going to grab my next one. I am going to duplicate the circle and do the same thing. This card is crooked. There we go. And we got now that we got that fixed. So once you see the cross, you know that's the bottom of the card and the center of the card. So once you got that, we're just going to go ahead, group those together, grab that, turn it invisible, move it to the side like so. Let's put this down here so we can keep grabbing those. So what we want to do, we want to make another copy, and you're going to do this for all your cards. And all you got to do is wait till you see that cross group. Go on, grab it. Just grab the circle now. So click on that circle and make it invisible. And then move that over to the side. Grab your next card. You can do how many card, however many cards you want or need. Or if you're making your own cards, whatever card you need to do that. So we're just going to grab that and make it invisible. And then, oops, I forgot to save one. So let's go back a little bit. Ungroup these. I need extra. I need extra ones because I I got the size that I want. Okay, now that I done, now that I'm unmussed up, I'm going to group those. Grab that. Go invisible. Go back over. Grab another card. Make a dupe. Go here. Line it up. See my little cross going on. Go here. I am going to group. And then I am going to grab that. I'm going to make it invisible. I'm going to go over here. And I don't need to make a duplicate now because this is my last card. I am going to do this. I'm going to group, grab. And you, you can make it invisible first, but I just like to do it afterwards because I like to see what my circle is. And now that I've got them all together, what I'm going to do is I am going to line them up on top of each other or whatever order they decide that they're going to go into. And you can move them around in your layers if you want them in a different order. So and now that I've got them all together, what I want to do is just highlight them. I'm not going to group them so I can move them and I'm moving them to the center. You can make them bigger if you need to, smaller, whatever your preference is. So now that I got that, what I'm going to do now is I am going to duplicate my page. And oh, what I'm going to do is I am going to spin my, my cards. And then I'm going to go into, since my circle's so big, it's hard to grab these. So what I want to do is I'm going to go and go in and use my layers tab to move these sideways. So I want to just move the king a little bit. I'm going to take my five over and move this a little bit this way. 
And I'm going to take Queen and move her over just a little bit this way. And then I am going to take this, and move it over just this way. And uh, now what I'm going to do, and if you're curious about my background, because that looks like a poker color to me, all I did uh, in the gradient was a dark green and a black, and I used the circle gradient. So the center would be green and then the outside would be black. That's how I created that color. So now what we're going to do is we're going to place our match and move in between. And you know me, I'm going to cut up the seconds and then you can you can adjust your pages when you want to, how, however, the length of what you want. And that's going to give you that spread. And then if you want to do, if you want to get them coming back in, all you're going to do is duplicate the first page, bring it over to the second page, the end here. Bring the plaza match and move because it does sometimes it travels, sometimes it does not. So let's just shorten this up to like two seconds for everything. And if you know, if you've been through match and move before, sometimes you need to do that a couple times for it to get where it wants to go. 2.1, I we're close enough. Uh, not match and move, I mean the uh, timing. So you can do that. And then like the other thing I did was just, I duplicated the page. Um, you can do other tricks. So you can go like so. I wanna take them down here. And then I'm going to do a spread. So I'm going to take my position. I'm going to get out of it. And then I can just spread them out. Let's spread them this way. Well, let's spread them this way. Seven, two. King. Five looks like it's in a good spot. So let's bring out the next one. Ace. And come on peekaboo and then you can have those out like so and then you can go from there and it'll come down and spread it out and then if you want to bring them back up or just say uh duplicate say all right so this is you know king and ace i don't know i don't know poker games and you want to just bring out two and have them come up you can do something like that You know, however, however you want to do your little poker things and have them come out. Um, also, the other thing we can do here, let's go back to this one and say you want to make it look like, let's duplicate this page here and say you want a, a specific card coming out. So you want to highlight the two. I think that's what that is. So you can have that pull up or something like that. So you can do something like that. You can go, oh, that's the two card. You know, so there's all kinds of things you can do once you get in there and start playing around with it. But that's really up to you. And that's how you can do that fun little trick and maybe make you a little poker evite. Um, somebody said something maybe about books. I think if you do the book, I would do this. And then I would um, duplicate this page because you're not going to really see too much of the book titles. But then go and maybe, like I did with the other one, and maybe pull out. Let's see. Let's just grab the king and maybe pull that out like so. That way you can see the whole book title. So let's see what that looks like and go and do something like that where you can pull that out of the fan and it can go back in. So there's all kinds of things you can go and play around with. And that's how you do this. And I am Michelle. I thank you for stopping by. I will see you on the next one. I love you guys. Bye, y'all.